President Kennedy had a famous quote, ask not what your country can do for you, but rather ask what you can do for your country. I've taken that to heart throughout my life and here in McCook as Mr. Bill for 30 years, asking not what McCook can do for me, but rather what can I do for McCook. Well, I was Santa Claus for the city of McCook for 22 years for free. 2,200 community hours of service for free. I was an umpire for the city of McCook for 140 games for free. And being Mr. Bill, that also entitled that I was able to make some money off to the side while I still paid my basic bills with my four and three to four part-time jobs. And that allowed me to give over the last 30 years $60,000 to the McCook school system and to the churches, though I belong to no church, for Jesus is in my heart, I don't need personally a church. And I give it to local nonprofits like the McCook Humane Society. Not counting, I gave kids free food when they came to the candy truck and they had no money. And I still do today. I also gave roughly a thousand packs of garden seed away every spring in hopes of getting kids more interested in gardening and growing their own food than taking food stamps. And I've done numerous other things to try to make a difference so that I could do something for McCook. One of the things I have now done over the last five years is make videos. And I continue to, to look for ways to help people or to help them save money and to protect them not only from the bad guys but from our own government. In this video, I'm trying to help you to save a little bit of money and a tool that I think you should own. Now here's a gun that I think almost everybody should own one. It's uh, from Newbie Con Company, Newbie it's called, and it's a, uh, an infrared thermometer. It will read uh, temperatures without touching the item. Use it through infrared. Goes uh, from 50 below up to 700 degrees, it'll read. And why is that important and what uses could you do? Well, you can check window heat loss or cooling. You can check all sorts of things by utilizing this. Everything from food, if you want to test the different temperatures of food, I'm going to use it on some of my scientific tests in gardening this year. And for a $16 bill, for a $16 bill, out of, of course, where else but Amazon, it might be something that should be in your tool chest. And this is how it works. You're looking at a uh, newbie. It is an infrared thermometer. And it is an excellent, excellent gun that everybody should own. And it uses laser pointer, which you always, always never point at anyone, especially their eyes. It's showing about 21 degrees, 25 in that neighborhood. That's a frozen bottle of water. Now that is room temperature water in that cup at 61 degrees. And there is warm water at 87, 88 degrees. It's an efficient tool to say the least. We come over here to the freezer, refrigerator, and we look at the outside of it, if we can get that done here. It's showing about 69 degrees on the outside. But you open it up and put it on the inside, and it's showing about 34, 36 degrees here. Here's a candle. I've seen it done on uh, YouTube a number of times. I'll use pens and pencils there. And I've had it setting there for a little while. But uh, just to make a natural heater. This is pretty warm because I've had it there for some time. So we'll put that up here. And we're looking at about 100 degrees on that thing. 90s. Uh, it's coming down a little bit. 94 degrees though. It's a great way to put a little extra heat in the house with just a single candle to help warm things. There's all that type of thing that you can do for experiments and your family could enjoy with you. On, uh, on YouTube I've seen this and this is a brilliant and very educational little piece of information that might do you some good. 
For example, you're looking at a just a general household fan taking my infrared thermometer. It helps me and tells me that there's 65 degree air coming off of that fan. 65 degrees. Okay? If you turn it toward and blowing across though a wet towel on a just a general clothes rack. You can't get more low tech than that hardly. And yet at the same time you're now looking at 50 49 degree temperature and that air coming off of that wet towel uh, really feels cool to say the least. It would save you a lot of money because that fan is a lot cheaper to run than an air conditioner. Not counting an air conditioner can easily run you hundreds of dollars or thousands of dollars for central air. If you're just needing to cool yourself and maybe one just room just as a small heater can be an individual heater for a room and save you an awful lot of money. I think this is a very unique and inexpensive and simple way to keep you and your house cool and do it without breaking your piggy bank. Okay, we're looking at a hundred degree heating pad. Now why would you be interested in knowing what that temperature actually is? You're looking at a flat of garden seeds that I've started and they were started simply because I set the seed and this bed here on a heating pad. Just a common household heating pad that I got for a buck at a yard sale and it allows the seed to germinate in three days rather than to take a week to ten days to germinate at room temperature. The average room is 70 degrees in my home and so that uh, heating pad at 100 sure fires up the seeds very quickly.